Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm Shay 45. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross star Good morning, Shay 45. Yeah. Was it Thursday or Friday? I feel like it was Friday. We celebrated 44 years of hip hop. Friday. Yeah. Friday. And we gave a shout out to 1520 Cedric Ave in the Bronx, the BX. BX. And OQ threw his exes up. And we all threw our exes up. We even had a little beautiful five-year-old girl in here named Solange who was just Dizelle's daughter from Paris, France. She threw her exes up. Wow. As a representation of the Bronx. That is the wow. birth place of hip hop as we know it. Indeed. There have been a lot of artists and a lot of MCs that come from the Bronx. Of course, we mentioned Cedric Gav. We got to say love and respect the cool hurt. When we talk about the Bronx and the BX, of course, the first artist I heard, because I'm just going to be honest, I didn't know Cool Herc was from the Bronx when I was coming up. <laughs> I didn't know that. I was in Jersey City, minding my business, listening to DJ Red Alert. Cool DJ Red Alert. Cool DJ. And just certain Boo -boo. people. And I knew KRS-One was from the Bronx because he yelled one. out, South Bronx, South, South Bronx. Then all these artists started coming out from the Bronx. <laughs> then, of course, there was Fat Joe. Props to Fat yeah. Joe. I just saw Fat Joe Big bro. last month, me and OQ. We was at the Wendy Williams White mixtape party with M.O.P. And Fat Joe came out there with Remy Ma. Remy. But from the Bronx. <laughs> but there was an artist that came out from the Bronx. No disrespect to Fat Joe because, in fact, we got to congratulate and salute Fat Joe for introducing us, the world, to this artist. By the name of Big Pun. Yeah. My goodness. Rest in peace. The lyrical skills of Big Pun to this day. I think, honestly, only his son has come close to representing that style of, right. of, 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 of hip hop. Right. And, and the breath control and the words and the usage and the punchlines. Absolutely crazy. And through that, uh, Big Pun and Fat Joe we were introduced not only to Remy Ma, but of course, this guy right here, sitting in the Sway in the Morning studio right now, the one and only Tony Sunshine. Represent the yeah. Bronx, Bless, 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 bless. Man, it's so good to see you. It's a pleasure, man. It's, it's, it's been a long road, you know. Yeah. But um, I was taught to never give up, and God is good. He has a plan for me. So we Amen. here, we working. I think the last time I saw you, um. I was I had a show with Pun Rest in Peace somewhere in Long Island and it was a whole bunch of people there. And I, I remember that I think uh, uh, Red and Meth was performing. I think um, Buster was there. And I, I was I, I was blessed enough. Somebody from from well I was walking off and and somebody said Hey Heather B Pun 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 wants to say something. Pun said Come to the back with me and my crew and have a drink. And y'all showed me so much love. It yeah, was so love. nice, you're, man. You're, you're a pioneer as well. You know, um, you put in work as well. Thank you. But y'all showed me so much love and it was just appreciation. But I wanted to. I was just such an awe of Pun and you guys and how it was such a family vibe. And you guys obviously being from the Latina culture. And I just right. watched y'all. You know, I couldn't ask a lot of questions. You know, when you get invited, you just have to be humble and just watch. How did the whole collective actually come together? As far as what though, what like I mean? pun and and you got how did you meet? Well, we all we uh -huh. all we all basically come from the same neighborhood. I grew up in Forest Projects. Um, I know Joe since I was about thirteen years old. Mm -hmm. We come from the same neighborhood. Um, pun came from Castle Hill, but he hung out down the block at Davison Projects, and uh, he played a lot of basketball. Pun. Yeah, Pun played basketball. We called him Ergoya at the time. He was about two hundred, maybe. No, I'm lying. He was about maybe 300 pounds, and he was running up and down the basketball court like a skinny dude, shooting the ball, you know, trying to dunk, do things like that. So they <laughs> called him Air Goya, which is pretty much where they got the idea to do the uh, the, uh, the Jordan logo. symbol. Yeah, I remember and that. And in the beginning of the 100% video where they do the little skit, you are now flying Air Goya. You know, well, that's yeah. that's actually where that came from. We People called him Air Goya because he played ball really well. Wow, I never knew. So you knew Joe first and then Pun. 
Yeah, I knew Joe first. I grew up with Joe. Okay, so... Well, I grew up under Joe. I grew up around Joe, and, you know, I was a little kid running around and looking out the window and watching the original Terror Squad do what they did, and, mm-hmm. you know, um, I always admired it, and, you know, when I was 13 years old, I stepped to Joe, and I told him I sang... I, I asked a mutual friend of ours, how do I how do I go about, you know, getting on and talking, and he, he was like, just go talk to him. Go speak to him. Because I used to watch Joe out the window. I used to look out the window and watch Joe pull up in his MPV and spit his rhymes to yeah. the rest of the crew outside and tell them that he was going to get on and what he was doing. And, you know, he was he had the the, the, the DITC movement yep. thing going on. Yep. So um, I gained the courage to step to him. And I told him I sang. He asked me to sing some for him. I believe I'm more than sure I sang Forever My Lady by uh, Jodeci. Jodeci, that was your joint? And um, Yeah, that was my joint. <laughs> you know, I, I, I thought I was a member of Jodeci. You couldn't tell me no. Right, right, right. So I sang that for him, and he was like, you know, he was flabbergasted, and he told me I was dope. And then the next day, God bless the dead, him and Full Flex came to pick me up, and I went with him to Relativity Records, and I went to Video Music Box, and, you know, um, I was at his first performance at The Fever and wow. things like that. So I've been around for a pretty long time. Where did you learn how to sing? Like, self-taught or you went to um, school? Like, how did you learn how to sing? I started off singing. I started off singing Latino music. You know, like like um, salsa and boleros in Spanish and things of that nature. And as I got older, you know, my mom was cleaning out the closet one day and she had this milk crate because Latino people like to have milk crates in the house. I don't know why. <laughs> and we had these milk crates. She was she was taking these milk crates out the closet down the hallway and then these milk crates, you had eight tracks and then these eight tracks yeah. consist of Patti LaBelle and Stevie Wonder and Lionel Richie and oh. the Commodores and things like that. And I begged her if I could keep them and she told me yes and I took myself down to like a Salvation Army. I bought myself an eight track player. I popped them in and I immediately fell in love and it was, you know, not not to say that I forgot about my heritage and my culture, but I fell in love with this sound and it was that was it. This is just what I wanted to do. And so, you know, I started singing R and B music and the rest is history. No, I never got any um um I was never taught, never mm-hmm. went to school to sing. I believe one time I won a competition and I went to Harlem School of the Arts with my sister. And Patti LaBelle was there giving vocal lessons. And um, wow. I don't know if she would remember this, but she was going down the line telling people to sing certain notes and do certain things. And when she asked me to sing, I had a certain riff. And she was like, boy, you don't need no vocal lessons. And- what riff did you hit? You remember? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. He just, just don't want you to ask him to do it. I, I don't I was, yeah. Nah, nah, we sing over here. So, you know, it's, it's like if you put me on the spot is what I do. I'm going to have to sing, but. Put him I, on the I spot, Wanda. Let me let me hear how let me <laughs> let me hear Tony Sunshine. You See only get you this way in the morning. 888-742-3345. Tony Sunshine That's is here big. if you want to speak to him. Yeah, because you don't have I love hearing the story of it all. So when you say you could just sing on the spot, you weren't classically trained. I want to hear this. Tony Sunshine, we threw a beat on yeah. for you. Uh, Put you on the spot. Uh, Oh, this is my joint too. Y'all know yeah. this Biggie track right here. Yeah, yeah. The warning. Yo. Tony Sunshine version. Yo. Sway in the morning. Time. I don't need a ghost rider. I'm a ghost rider. Ask about me. I'm most fire. Yeah, yeah. This beat is not it for me though. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Would you like Tony? Uh, and he was doing good yeah, that's not it. Cause I was about Tony. to start rhyming. You asked me to sing. I, you know, <laughs> you could do rock. You could do. You could do both. We appreciate it. All yeah, yeah, right yeah. Here. That was in the beat. <laughs> but you started off so good though, Tony. Yeah, it sounded yeah, good, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I gotta so take good. this gum out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey. Top. Tell Point me what. Point. Tell me what to do. Is the top, you know that it's true I'm the top, not the bottom, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, wow, I man don't know. You ain't lose your yeah. voice, man We ain't mad at that Tony Sunshine is here If you want to talk to him 888-742-3345 yeah. We're going to play the new single right now What I love about this Hey, citizens, this is his new single it's called Ball Again. It's featuring Axel Leon. Axel. Now, if you're a citizen of Sway in the Morning and you know the history, we support Axel to the highest degree. This dude is such a dope artist, such a dope he's MC. Super, a lot of people don't know that I know Axel Leon um, since he was like 
a little boy. Wow. I was in Lincoln Hospital one day. My mother got sick. I went to go visit my mom in Lincoln Hospital, and he was there. I had my Terror Squad um, leather jacket with the logo on the back. And he stepped to me, told me he rhymed, and at the time I was doing some things, and I knew some people in the industry, and, you know, my buzz was heavy, so I asked him to spit something for me, and he spit something for me. <sighs> and um, he was and he was fire instantly. Like, instantly. I was like, yo, you're, you're like, and he was like maybe... 14, 15. Wow, that young. So I took him around and he spit for Jim and he spit for a couple of people. And at the time, there wasn't really much I could do for him because I was an upcoming artist yeah. and I couldn't offer him anything. So I introduced him to a couple of people that took him around and, you know, the rest is history. But he's incredible. He's super lyrical. Super. I root for him. I support him. Fire. If you're not familiar with Axel Leon, go to SwayzUniverse.com. Check him out at the 2016 Doomsday Cypher. The freestyle that he did, absolutely incredible. Here he is again. New single by Tony yeah. Sunshine. It's called Ball Again. Call us up. You want to talk to Tony, 888-742-3345. Yeah. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.